uh, we are trying to help the community. Um, and uh, a little bit more about ourselves. Uh, yeah, the next slide. Um, I'm a BME major freshman. Uh, I'm Jim Parwitz. I'm an electrical engineering major. I'm also a freshman. Hi, I'm Ayush Mukate. I'm a BME major and I'm a junior. I'm Yao Boateng. I'm an electrical engineering major with a minor in French and I'm a freshman. Right. Um, so I think an uh, overarching theme about our uh, uh, idea a community is that the center is not really fixed on a few key ideas, but we have proposed some. It, so one of the ideas is that we make the structure adaptable. So while we think it's important to focus on the ideas, we want to make it possible so that you can incorporate future ideas potentially pitched by the community. And one key thing to making this happen is whatever council or uh, board that makes these final decisions can be represented by uh, a couple of nominees that are maybe elected to the community or who just volunteer. And these can help gauge potential ideas for engagement and feasibility. All right, I think next we have. So we have, um, after kind of reviewing university settlements, mission plan and Slavic village as a whole, um, we really were able to boil down two main goals that impacted us through our project. Um, and they were through our, um, we wanted to make create an adaptable space and have community as our top priority. Um, so we'll go on to the next slide. And so we had two main goals for the renovation phase of um, the main building and the Mead building. Um, first off on the right, we have our vocational skills. Um, a community struggling financially, um, such as Slavic Village, unfortunately, is always really in need of new skills to learn and develop themselves um, in their career. Um, and so we really hope that the renovations of the main and Mead building can spark and foster career growth through expert led projects that the community will undertake and learn new vocational skills, such as replacing drywall, tearing down walls, bathroom, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's really designed to engage self-improvement with the community. Um, and then on the left here, the aesthetics and design. Um, of course, in a low income community, it's not necessarily, it just doesn't feel right to include um, like really high fidelity decorations and aesthetics. So our goal is that the community creates these aesthetics or uh, creates these decorations through um, one example we have is um, let's say you have dedicated spaces on the walls for community um, painted murals that they would apply to maybe to board or whatever um, and new murals would be refreshed on a yearly basis to keep the space new. Following that we also plan to have community book events and uh, equipment rentals so then we we plan to have, uh, since it's a building with rooms and uh, it had a couple of offices, once it's renovated, there will be, the different rooms can be repurposed for different activities. And then it will be open to the entire community and different organizations, friend groups, uh, even club, just a group of kids from the community could rent a room and they could watch a movie, have fun, uh, we also have equipment, sports equipment that uh, would have been donated from the uh, Cleveland sports teams, which could also be rented and can be used indoor or outside on the field that is found in the vicinity of the building. And this would be all, all the members of the Slavic community would be eligible to apply for any of these services. So for the future plans and gaining outside influence, Cleveland is a home, home for various large institutions that have a direct or indirect community impact. Some examples of such institutions are sports teams, such as the Browns, Cavaliers, the Indians, educational institutions, such as Case Western, Cleveland State, Cleveland Institute of Art, and big hospitals, such as the Cleveland Clinic, BVA, and the University Hospitals. Most of these institutions are looking for helping the community in one way or the other. Sports teams sometimes have extra equipment from previous seasons, uh, jerseys, uh, bats, and that they could part with. Educational institutes have community engagement clubs and fraternities work closely with the community. 
and hospitals can set up small clinics with basic diagnostic and first aid equipment to help the community. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay.